Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A train is moving in a straight line away from a stationary observer when the train horn emits a sound frequency F0. The speed of the train is this, and where V is the speed of sound, what is the frequency heard by the observer? So first of all, uh, dear students, this is the observer, and uh, the train is moving in a straight line away from the observer. So let us say this is the train which is moving away from the observer and the speed of the train is 0 0.1 V. Okay, so this is moving, this is uh, the source or the train. So it is moving away. So the sound is moving in this direction. So my dear students, uh, this is question belongs to the Doppler's effect. And I know there are many cases there, but I am going to give you one single formula. You have to take that formula. You have to follow the steps and you will never get the wrong answers. Try to understand this thing, okay? I am going to give you one single formula. Be very careful. F dash, the frequency which is heard, the new frequency is F into V is the velocity of sound minus velocity of observer divided by the velocity of sound, velocity of source. This is the formula, one and the only formula that you need to know for the Doppler's effect in sound. So this is done. And apart from that, you have to use a sign convention. Sign convention will be like in this case, the sound is moving backward. So the direction of the sound will be taken positive. The other direction will be taken negative. So whatever velocities which are moving opposite to the sound will be taken negative and the velocities which are moving towards in the direction of the sound that would be taken positive and we will find the new frequency simple. You have to substitute with sign convention. So let us do it. F dash is equal to new F which is F naught. V is the speed of sound and observer. Observer is not moving. Zero. V. So this, this velocity is taken as positive. Okay. Minus. So velocity of the source. So source is also moving, source is moving away. So the velocity of the source will be taken negative. So it will be negative 0 0.1 V. I hope I am clear. The direction in which the sound is traveling is taken positive. The other direction is negative. I just substitute the value. And now you just need to find the answer. So this is V plus 0 0.1 V. V will be taken common. It will be V divided by 1.1 V. So V and V is cancel, canceling out. So it is coming out to be F naught divided by 1.1. And yes, the answer should be V. And according to the mark scheme, yes, the answer is V. This is how we do the Doppler's effect questions. My dear students, there are many cases. The observer is not moving. The observer is moving. It is moving towards the source. It is moving away from the source. Now the source is moving, then both of them are moving, both of them are moving against each other. There are thousand cases possible. We are going to have only one single formula and that is this formula. Just remember, V is the velocity of sound. V0 is the velocity of observer. Vs is the velocity of the source. And the direction in which the sound is moving is chosen as positive. All other directions are taken as negative. Just substitute the value along with the sign convention and you will definitely get the correct answer. This is how we do the Doppler's question, my dear students. Okay, so this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.